Hey what's going on guys and girls, in today's video I'll be doing a review of HelloScribe. HelloScribe is one of the latest AI copywriters to be added on AppSumo and by the looks of its reviews, the comments, the feedback that I'm getting, it seems to be a very powerful new AI copywriter. So in today's video, I'll be doing an in-depth review of this tool, I'll be taking a look at its pricing, its features, the templates and most importantly, I'll be testing the output quality of HelloScribe. And just before we get started with the video, I want to let you know that HelloScribe does have a lifetime deal available on AppSumo. So the license tier one starts at a one-time purchase of $79. This gives you 15,000 words each month, one user. You can also get the license tier two, which is $200 one-time purchase. You will get five users and unlimited words. So all in all, that's a pretty good deal because in the long run, you will definitely be able to save money compared to if you were to pay monthly for this AI copywriter. So the lifetime deal does end in a couple of days from the time of recording this video. So if you've watched this video and you like this tool and you want go ahead and grab it I would recommend grabbing it before the lifetime deal is expired and also if you would like to win a free lifetime deal for HelloScribe I'll be doing a giveaway this month to enter that giveaway all you have to do is join our discord I'll leave a link below this video once you join the discord you'll automatically be entered for this giveaway and you'll also have access to some exclusive content and deals that I'll be posting on discord so again if you want to enter the giveaway I'll leave a link to discord in the description below this video once you have a plan for HelloScribe, this is what your dashboard will look like. As you can see, it's very easy to use, very intuitive. On the left hand side here, you'll have your projects and you'll also have the tools in which you can use to uh, generate your short and long form content. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different templates in which you can choose from. You have the brainstorm templates and within the brainstorm templates, you have some very specific short from templates in which you can use just depending on the type of content in which you're creating. Below that, you have your brand message. This is where you'll be able to um, generate some brand specific copy. Below that will be your copywriting templates. You can do a couple different um, types of content here. You have Facebook ads, Google ads, product descriptions, and so on. And below that will have your correspondence templates. This is where you'll be able to write um, email copy, media statements, press releases, public apologies, and a call script. So very specific um, types of content here in which you can generate with the correspondence templates. And below that will be your first draft writer. So this is where you'll actually be able to create and write longer form content. So you can go ahead and generate a outline and you can also um, create the first draft for your article or blog post using this template. And they also have a pretty cool research hub which allows you to get high quality references and citations for your um, blog or paragraph. So you can actually go ahead and find sources that you can include and you can cite that within your blogs or paragraphs. So we'll be going over this a little bit deeper uh, later in this video. And below your first draft writer will be your creative writing. This is where you can uh, create some novel stories or some fictional stories. You have storytelling, you have a um, screenplay, you have a creative rationale, you have a creative outline, character sketch, a blurb, plot summary, and so on. And below your creative writing will be your headline genius. This is where you'll be able to create headlines uh, for specific scenarios. So you have article headlines, book titles, email subjects, LinkedIn posts, Pinterest, and so on. And below that will be your media pitch. So this is where you'll be able to write specific copy um, if you're trying to outreach or get in contact with a specific publisher. And below that will be your question creator. So this is where you'll be able to create questions. You can create interview questions, research questions, and survey questions. Below that will be your quote maker. If you want to create some very inspirational posts or quotes, you can use this um, template to do so. Then you have social media. This is where you'll be able to um, generate some social media specific copy. So you have captions, LinkedIn posts, product announcements, video description, viral hook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And lastly, you have the writer's toolkit. And this has some specific tools in which you can use um, to write content. So you have the article outline template, you have the blog intro, bullet points, conclusion, essay intro, essay outline, and so on. So if you're writing um, longer form content, this is the toolkit in which you can use to generate specific parts of your um, longer form articles or blog posts. So as you can see, there's a lot of different templates included here in HelloScribe. And I think that's where they really shine. They have some very specific um, scenarios and specific templates which you can use to get the best type of content um, that you're looking for. For the purpose of time, it would be impossible to go through every single one of these templates, but I'll be going through what I believe to be would be the most popular templates. Let's start by taking a look at the writer's toolkit. So within the writer's toolkit, we have the article outline, blog intro, bullet points, conclusion, and you have some essay specific, we have the rewrite this option, simplify, speech intro, and the reframe um, specific templates here. So let's say we wanted to go ahead and write a long form piece of content using HelloScribe. 
we can use the writer's toolkit to generate an outline and then use the first draft writer to then go ahead and buff up and add some more content. For this example, we'll be generating an outline for an article about how to make money online as a teenager. So we've went ahead and entered our inputs. You can also enter a tone or style, but for this example, I'll just keep it blank. Okay, so these are the outputs in which we got back um, for those specific outlines. We have the intro, how to make money online as a teenager, and conclusion. And again, we have a second variation here, and a third, and a fourth. So once you see an output in which you like the best, you can copy that. But if you wanted to go ahead and change up the content, you can hit the similar tab, and this will actually um, rewrite that content. So if you want to change it a little bit, you can hit that tab. So once you, again, find something that you like the best, just hover over that, click copy. And we're going to head back over to the first draft writer. The reason why I generated my outline using the writer's toolkit was because I tried using the outline feature included in the first draft writer, but I really didn't find uh, much success doing so. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove some of my previous content here. And we're going to paste the outline in which we just generated. So again, we're talking about how to make money online as a teenager. In order to use the first draft writer, what you want to do is highlight that content and then you can either rewrite, expand, shorten, or continue that content if the AI has started a sentence but stopped midway. So for this example, we'll be expanding the content. So explain why and how teenagers can make money online. Okay, so teenagers can make money online in a variety of different ways. The most common way is by becoming an influencer on social media. Da, da, da. They can also create their own websites and monetize it through advertising or affiliate programs. Okay, so we got a nice little intro there. And again, if you wanted to, we can highlight the last sentence here or the last paragraph. Hit continue and the AI should continue writing. Okay, so as we see here, the AI did continue writing and added some more content. So again, for any subheading which you would like to expand, you can highlight that and then either click continue or you can click expand to get more content. All in all, this works pretty well, but I really do feel that, that the strength of HelloScribe is within its short form templates. I've had a chance to play around with them. Um, I'm not as entirely impressed with the long form templates, but again, maybe they're focused more on short form and more specific um, scenarios in terms of generating content. But you can use the first draft writer to um, sort of get your outline built and start adding in some content. And then you can use a separate AI copywriter to add even additional content if you want to write a much longer um, blog post or article. Another unique feature that's included in the first draft writer is the research hub. So this allows you to add um, citations and references into your articles or blogs. So what you can do is you can just search up that topic in which your blog post is about. So this is making money online as a teenager. And once you search that up within their search bar, you can then go ahead and see different blog posts and websites that actually talk about that content. So if you wanted to cite them, as you can see here, the citation is already generated. So you can go ahead and uh, paste that citation at the end of your article and you can add some um, in-text citations as well. Another feature included in the research hub is the fact search. So you can actually go ahead and copy a fact in which you've included within your article, paste that within their search bar and click enter, and it'll pull up anywhere in the internet in which that fact has been referenced. And then you can add that reference into your article or blog. So this is an easy way for you to add references into your content and increase the validity of your blog post or article. So that's how you use the first draft writer. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Copywriting Pro and the specific use cases included. So again, as we can see here, a lot of different use cases, Amazon ads, uh, billboard ads, headlines, landing pages, and so on. As you can see here, there's a lot of different scenarios in which you can choose from. But let's go ahead and test out the product description. So what we want to do is now describe the product in which we're trying to write copy for. For this example, we'll be writing a product description for a new back massager with temperature controls and an extended handle that allows you to reach all parts of your back. So the length is great. We can add a tone if you like. For this example, I'll just keep it blank. And these are the outputs in which we got back. Tired of wasting money on those bulky massage chairs with unreliable results, looking for relief from back pain, but don't have hours to spend in weight rooms at the masseuse's office. We'll look no further. Da -da -da. Have you been searching for a back massager that will provide long lasting relief in your sore and tense muscles? The one and only back massager. Okay. Looking for relief from back pain. Look no further than the new black massager with temperature controls and extended handle. Okay, so these are all actually um, pretty decent product descriptions. So again, whichever one you like the best, just go ahead and copy that and you can use that within your marketing. You can also give the brainstorm templates a try. Uh, for this example, I'll be trying to generate some social media ideas for my YouTube channel. So I'll be asking the AI to generate me content ideas for my YouTube channel. So I've used the social media ideas tool 
and I've asked the AI to give me video ideas for a YouTube channel that is focused on AI copywriters and SEO tools. Now let's go ahead and generate. Okay, create a series of short videos demonstrating how to use different SEO tools such as keyword research and SEO tools. Have a contest where viewers create videos showing off their favorite AI copywriting tools and SEO tips. Offer great prizes like the latest AI tools, free online courses or access to exclusive content. Actually, that's a pretty good idea. Host a competition in which AI copywriters and SEO experts can compete to write content optimized for search rankings. Participants will submit their content and then the channel host uh, performs an SEO analysis to see who won. Okay, that's actually a fairly decent idea as well. Not bad by any means, actually. Um, I think that we we're able to get some really unique ideas using that template there that I probably wouldn't have thought of on my own. So pretty good tool there. So I wanted to try out the TikTok video templates. So I um, switched to templates, but kept the input to be the same. And uh, we actually got some video uh, topic ideas in which we can use on TikTok. So optimizing your copywriting with AI, AI copywriters, and a beginner's guide. And they actually give you a little bit of a script in which you can follow um, when you're creating your video. As you can see, HelloScribe has some really powerful and very specific templates that you can use to generate high quality short form content. But in terms of generating high quality long form blog posts or articles, that's where I think this tool is lacking. I've used some of the best long form AI copywriters and HelloScribe kind of falls below the mark in terms of their long form content generation. But again, maybe they're just focused on creating really high quality and specific short form copy. So if that's your use case and that's what you're looking for, then this would be a really good option for you uh, to get. But if you're looking for a high quality long form article or blog post generator, then this tool may not be the right choice for you. But overall, it's still a pretty good tool and in all fairness, it's also a pretty new tool. So I'm sure they'll be doing a lot more improvements and adding some more features as well um, for this tool, but it definitely has a lot of potential moving forward. So if you wanna go ahead and grab Hello Scribe, again, I'll leave a link for the lifetime deal in the description below this video. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned something new. If you did, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.